Chapter 5, H2S Emergency Response. In this chapter, we'll cover the following topics. Emergency scene management and first aid for H2S exposure. Module 1, Emergency Scene Management. Before an emergency occurs, it's important to ensure that a rescue plan is developed and in place. This plan should include the identification and provision of trained on-site rescue personnel, detailed rescue procedures, as well as CPR training for anyone who works in the H2S environments. The Rescue Team. It is important to ensure that all skills necessary to respond to an emergency are represented in the members of the rescue team. The required skills may be held by only one team member or shared among as many members as is necessary. Additional training may be required to prepare rescue teams and to provide them with the skills necessary to deal with the hazards of H2S. These skills include, but are not limited to, gas detection, use of supplied air breathing apparatuses, first aid skills, rescue carries, and special skills as identified by a hazard assessment. Rescue Procedures To respond to an H2S emergency, the following four-step procedure can be used. Step 1. Get to safety. Step 2. Assess the hazards. Step 3. Control the hazards. Step 4. Conduct the rescue. Let's discuss each of these steps now. 